Hello, hello. I am very late, five weeks, not just hours, <laughs> for my Watch Me Wednesday, um, which has gone a little bit chaotic in June. Um, if you are on my mailing list, you will know that it's been a bit of a chaotic month. Um, so my kind of Watch Me Wednesdays that I regularly do on a Wednesday um, have taken a back seat. It was kind of my birthday and we went away and all sorts of things going on in life. Um, and I was all poised to go live at midday today. Um, and yeah, things happened again today. And I, I've nearly kind of sat there and gone, oh, you know what, I'll just, I'll do it next week, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it some other time. I thought, no, come on that, let's get going. <laughs> so, um, so hello, welcome, welcome. I can see there's a few of you. Oh, hang on, you don't want that. Let me tick off that. There we go. <laughs> and if you are live, just come and say hello. Hello. Um, okay, my God. I think yeah, Rachel, I think there was something about June that um everyone was everyone was just out of sync with everything. I don't know what, what what's going on. And I was like, no, July's gonna be fine. Um, and it's just not. Today's been crazy too. But, uh, but I'm here. So I just thought, no, let's just do it. I don't because none of it's late or anything like that. We're just pleased to kind of go, yay, hello. Um, and so I am here. So if you're here for some live crafting, which is what again and what I had planned, um, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that today, but I will be. Um, I'll be showing you some new toys, so that's good. Um, that sounds a little bit wrong, but um, you know what I mean. So hello, welcome, 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 everyone. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? Um, so you, whether you're watching me on Facebook or on YouTube, say hi, hello, hello, welcome. I'm just wondering if I need more lights on the situation. Oh, hold on. Or not on that. So I am, so I'm here to show you new things today, new things that I've received this week. Um, so, I mean, if you see my little screen there, um, we have a new catalog. It's not out yet. Don't panic. Don't worry. Um, oh, I just thought, can you hear me all right? Because what I normally do, in fact, hold on, I'm going to mute that. Uh, Rachel, I am doing using different software since you've probably been on. I've been using it now for, well, I watched it for about a month, um, but we haven't seen you for a while. So, um, yes, I am. Is it better, worse, di just different? Um, you've got different screens going on. Um, but hopefully you can – oh, so I've just muted one microphone, so I might have been a bit echoey before, but I should be fine now. So let me know if I'm all right. Hello, I know you said morning, Carol. It's not morning. Just feels like it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, so, yes, so we have um, new catalog coming, new catalog coming, um, which most of you know because most of you are watching your demos. But for those of you who aren't, um, it is called the July to December uh, mini catalog, um, which would intimate that it should be out now. Um, but I don't know if you remember or not, I have said previously that due to all the shipping delays around the world, um, they decided to move it back a month rather than kind of launching a catalogue and going, well, that's on back order, that's on back order, that's on back order. Um, and they knew it was only kind of a few weeks to catch up. So they actually um, asked demonstrators what they wanted to do um, or a selection of demonstrators. And they said, actually, no, just move it back a month. Um, it actually moved forward this year. We normally don't get this catalogue till September, um, but it was supposed to be July. Still being called July, but actually it's not launching till August. Confused? <laughs> But basically, the products that I'm showing you today, you can get your hands on on the 3rd of August, unless you're a demonstrator. So lots of you lovely people are demonstrators, and you know that you can get any of these things um, in your hands now. And so if you are somebody who can't hang around and can't wait and wants this, these things now, um, then talk to me about how, how you become a demonstrator. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. Um, and a lot of people just sign up um, and have the discount for themselves. So um, we have, so that's the new catalogue. I can't show you the inside, but you can see the cover. And if I hold it up, that might give you some hints. And obviously, I'm going to show you some products today from it. Not all of them. I didn't buy the whole catalogue. Um, but uh, you might have some sneaky peeks on there of some things that are to come. In fact, I'll be showing you everything bar the ribbon that's on that front cover there um but also again new this year new and i'm, I'm, I'm 
and I'm showing you on my little screen, but you can see, you get the idea. Um, I might change cameras in a second. Um, we have a second celebration coming up. This isn't something that normally happens. Our celebration is normally January, February, March, but we changed it to January, February this year, and we're running a second one. Should also have been July and August, but it's August and September. Doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Um, so, um, in fact, let's just change screens. I want to see what the lighting is like on this. And will you tell me, so this was playing up. I've been absolutely fine, but this this is a, a reasonably new webcam. It's what I've been using since I've been using this software for the last month. But it was a bit dodgy yesterday. It was going in and out and, you know, not focusing and not being very grand. So um, I will, I'll keep an eye on it. But if it is blurry, let me know. And I might change things. Now I'm just thinking, oh, if I go that way, oh, it's a bit bright. Just move, move my, I want you to see things, but I don't want you to see the light banking off. Prefer that view to picture in picture. Oh, okay. And um, I can't do picture picture on this. I can do various things. I can do that. But you don't want to see me. I can do that. Oh, hang on. I can do that. But you don't want to see me that big and that that big. So that looks a bit dark, doesn't it? I mean, it is. It is all a bit cloudy and horrible here. Um, but I'm going this because you don't really want need to see me because this, this is where the action is happening now. And, uh, yeah, we're seeing. We're going to see where that is happening. So this is a celebration brochure. I also can't show you this as well. But, oh, let's have a look. Can you see? some goodies on there <laughs> dun, 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 dun. but i'm going to show you them so you don't need to know that so let's start i'm going to move over here so you may not see me over here um or i could move me there you go and you get me as well um so i'm going to start with celebration products so these aren't available third of august um but there's a variety of ways of, of earning them and doing them and all of that but i mean I'm here to show you. I'm not here to kind of tell you about it because it doesn't start till the 3rd of August unless you're a demonstrator. <laughs> so let's let's have some stamp sets. So that's now you can see the light, but let's see the light. Actually, that's not too bad. So this is one of the stamp sets. So you cannot buy these stamp sets uh, or, or any of these things I'm showing you right now. Um, so all these celebration items, you can only earn either with an order, with a larger order, hosting a party, um, or there, are, there is a joining offer as well, but they don't include these stamp sets. Um, but if you join now um, as demonstrators, we're earning these. That's why I've got them here already. So this is a Feels Like Home. It's a cling mount stamp set. So that means it's red rubber um, on some sponge or foam to give it its right thing. So that's one of them. You've got textures and frames. That's a photopolymer set. So that's a see-through set there. You've got this delicate dahlias, and I love this. This is very kind of um, soft succulents um, esque. Um, I can see a lot of people doing some very lovely colouring with that. And I've I've discovered dahlias this year. Dahlias, dahlias, tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, I actually have some in my garden for the first time. I love them. I didn't know them. I wasn't very green fingered, but I've got into it this year. Um, so yeah, it's um, I'm loving, I'm loving these. The ones in my garden look just like this. <laughs> bright red they are and um, so that is that one what else have I got we have a counting sheep um I know this will be really popular because these these kind of sets always are so a couple of sheep dancing sheep jumping sheep a little birthday hat grass but not only that we have dyes as well so you've got the ones that cut out the sheep the hat but you've got flags I think that's that clouds or heels a sun um, and a gate as well so that's a different one so you can earn um, that one for free and that one for free separately they don't come as a pair they come individually so up to you so that's a nice um bundle to have we've never kind of had a bundle like that before um we also have um these dies oh now i need to remember what they are so these are summer shadows dies and bear with me bear with me they coordinate with Make sure you can't see this because you're not allowed to see the inside of the catalogue. Um, they coordinate with the Shaded Summer stamp set from the annual catalogue. So I can show you that. Hold on, let me go and get that. Because I can show you the inside of that now. So let's have a look. Shaded Summer. I haven't got this set. Sh 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 shaded Summer, page 75. 
Oh, there we go, I've gone past it. Oh yes, I remember it now. Um, so this is the stamp set in the annual catalogue. It's 21 pound stamp set. Um, and you're, oh, no wonder. See, now you don't have to hand cut all that out by itself. Look, you've got one that does that. You've got one that does that. And then you've got all these coordinating pieces as well. Some leaves, they look lovely. Lovely, some skeleton leaves. <laughs> so they coordinate with that set. So if you love that set or you've got that set, then you may well want those dies. Right, the next stamp set, or last stamp set, in fact, is, I just want to make sure I get this right. So this is a stamp set um, in your words. Um, it's a cling mount stamp set, so red rubber. Um, and this is free if you place an order of £275 or more. So this could be an order you place yourself because you've got a massive wish list. It could be that you collect um, orders together from friends and family and put it all in one. Um, and then you can get this for free. Um, and these actual sentiments are, they went to demonstrators and said, what kind of things would you like to say? What sentiments would you like in a stamp set? Um, and they collated the ones that they felt were the best to, to go. So it says, uh, your birthday came, your birthday went. Here is the card I should have sent. Life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Uh, be who you were born to be. Um, so there's lots of things. Sending this card for no particular reason. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that. See, I'm sitting there thinking it's not. Yeah. This is not great. I don't know what's going on. Da, 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 da. But you can you get an idea of it. See, right down there, it seems. I'm wondering if I've got it. I've got it lower than I normally have. I might just bear with me. Oh, wrong one. If I move up, it might just. Oh, sorry. It might just be. Maybe that's what it is. It's too close. Hang on. Is that a bit better? That might be better, mightn't it? Although that's made me light up a bit. Ugh. How's that? Is that clearer? I think it might be. Maybe that's what the issue is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get on with it. So that is a free set with a large order. Then we've got some um, papers. So that's all the stamp sets. I say you can't buy them. You can only earn them for free. And then you've got this, which is bedazzling six by six paper. And every sheet is the same. But look, it's kind of glitter paper. But if you look really close, in like a snake skin pattern, kind of. Um, but it doesn't, look, doesn't come off. You know, like some glitters, you're covered in glitter, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but you'll be, I mean, it's quite thick as well. It will, um, it will uh, take a good trimmer blade to go through that no problem <laughs> but that's good it's good it's nice and thick um so yeah so that is be dazzling they're all sheets are the same and there's eight sheets i think there is uh yeah eight sheets in there so that's one um so slightly different to our kind of previous glimmer papers or our um yeah anything that we've had before really so next is this. It's a 12 by 12 pattern paper set. Um, and this may look familiar. So the hand penned um, set, a suite, that is in the annual catalogue. Um, let, again, let's, let's find that. And you can see, she says, <laughs> hand penned, page 105. So this set here, all looking familiar now. There we go. Whoop. That goes, so including the pattern paper. Oh, that isn't there. Where's the pattern paper? Nope. It'll be in the paper section then. So you'll see. There it is. So that pattern paper there is the hand pen 12 by 12 and you can see it's all in color so this is similar um, and coordinates with that but it's a black and white version so that means you can use it and keep it as black and white or you can color it so keep it um, and you've got um white designs on black backgrounds and if i turn it over it's black designs on white 
backgrounds. Um, so these can all be colored in, as I say, or cut out and used individually. Some waves, I can see a rainbow with that for some reason, I don't know why, um, but it's 12 sheets. There are three different designs, double-sided, so six different patterns um, and four sheets of each, but uh, lovely. And it is supposed to have that kind of distressed watery look. That's not a manufacturing mistake. That is how it does look, the whole watercolor wash look. So that is, I can't remember what it's called, but it's something penned, beautifully penned. I should say on the back, beautifully penned. There we go. Then we have another 12 by 12 paper. Now, I can't show you what this goes with, but there is, and I don't have it. I didn't order it. Um, there is a deer set um, with a coordinating punch. So whilst I don't know for definite, I guarantee pretty much that these um, deers will be able to be cut out with a punch. No problem. So the 12 by 12 again, and you've got, again, uh, six different patterns, or 12 patterns on six pieces of paper times two. So if I show you these ones, so that's all your patterns on those sides. And then if I flip them over, oh, no, hang on, one more. <laughs> there you go. like that one as well. Then you've got, again, patterns. I mean, they say Christmas because it's red and green, but... They're not Christmas specific. Um, I like this one. We've had something similar to this before. Um, always looks good for box um, wrapping on there. So that is, and what is it that one called? Be something to do with deers, probably. Uh, Peaceful Prince. Nothing to do with deers at all. Um, but that is, again, free with orders next month. Um, and the last and final item is this um, penguin paper. And again, I can't show you what it coordinates with, but there is a stamp set and punch set again um, where um, in the new upcoming catalogue. I just haven't ordered it yet. I can't order it all. I didn't add up what it would be if I ordered the whole catalogue. But <laughs> um, Right, hold on, sorry. Love that. How many sheets? Um, Rachel, was that for this? And I think I answered that, that there was eight. So hopefully I got that right. Let me know if that didn't answer that question. Um, but the rest of this, again, another six or 12 designs, six pieces of paper. And again, I'm pretty sure that the punch will cut out these penguins. Um, but you've got the busy sides, as I call them, on one side. Hold on. But lots of penguins to cut out. So you can use it as a sheet on its own, or you can cut out the individual elements. Oh, hang on, one more there as well. Ooh run out of space but lots of penguins and then again oh, I don't need to see quite that much of it all do you there we go all coordinating patterns on that how are we doing with light that's better I think hey Paula you did just catch me <laughs> um, so I like these again and no, nothing I mean there's trees there but that doesn't necessarily mean Christmas but I think all these patterns could be used all year round as well so um, that's that so you can't buy any of those you have to earn them um, which you can do if you're a demonstrator this month or 3rd of August next month now I'm going to be getting up and down because I've put everything in piles um, so that I can show you certain things at once now right let's do this one next so um i was lucky enough to um because um i earned the company incentive trip um i was lucky enough to be sent some of these bits and bobs so some of these items i was sent so i didn't have to buy all this in case you're adding it up <laughs> but let's have a look so um hang on i probably should get the info to hand this will be, is called um, I want to say Painted Christmas. Hold on. It is, yes. Painted, the Painted Christmas Suite. So, in fact, I'm going to show you papers first. What have I got left in here? So, you can see this has already been used. I could show you a little sneak peek of something in a minute. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six different designs on one side so not Christmassy at all and then you've got more leaves and pine cones and things like that that is a little bit more Christmassy but even that isn't that could be a nice winter card <laughs> I 
so I'm just reading the comments there. Let me let me show you quickly. Look, look. <gasps> That's all out of that paper. Right, that's it. That's your sneak peek. <laughs> Put them on with me. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the pattern paper. Now, this is a suite with two bundles in it. So you have one bundle. This is one of the ones that I got for free um, with the Christmas season. So this is pine cones and leaves and things like that. Um, so what, 14 stamps? It's a photopolymer version. And then you've got dies that go with it. I mean, that's a good old size label there. Um, but you have different patterns. And then you've got those ones here. So smaller labels, lots of labels there, really. Um, and these strips cut out so you can thread ribbon through them, um, cuts out the pine cones and the sprigs and all of that. So that is a good set. But also you've got um, Christmas to remember. So that's a good um, set of Christmas sentiments. So Merry Christmas, Seasons Greetings, Tis the Season. Um, have a hol have a holly jolly Christmas. <laughs> is that? And then you've got, I mean, look at this. How massive is that die? I mean, it's, you know, it's my hand size. Um, but there's two of them. So these cut out. I, I, I'm not sure what fun I'm going to have poking these out. Um, but, yeah, really great. So, I mean, you can imagine a sort of a big label, one of those labels, perhaps, over the front, and then all these sprigs from behind. It's also got pine cones in it and all sorts, so I can't wait to cut those out. But I couldn't use it till I showed you them, you see, and then I can put them, start using them and put them away. So, um, yeah, so you can put some pine cones on there. They're just great, and little pine cones there as well. So that is Christmas pine cone dies that goes with Christmas to remember. Now, there is a ready gold ribbon that goes with that, but I haven't got that. Um, and these, these surprised me, actually, because in the catalogue, I don't know why, but in the catalogue, they look like um, they're puffy. You know, the whole kind of um, quilted puffy embellishments we used to get a few years ago. Um, this is where you're going to see whether or not it... But, well, you can get what it is. But look how thin it is. It's kind of like paper thin. So I don't think that's really focusing, is it? What if I do that? Is that a bit better? I think you can see. Yeah. I think you can see. So it's a good, I, I prefer them actually, because um, they'll lay flat on cards. I think they're good, but they give some texture as well. So they are the uh, holly leaves, gold holly leaves. So that is that sweet. Bear with me a moment. See how organized I was. Like I've got the dies out and everything. Paper out the pack. <laughs> right. Okay. So I've got most of another suite, but I actually didn't get the stamp set with this one. Um, so I've got all the bits of the suite, but nothing else. Um, well, not the main bits, should I say. That'll come in time. I can't get everything, but I just fell in love. I'm trying to find it now to say what it is. Bear with me. Oh, come on. Oh, I think I've gone past it. Oh, no, no, there it is. So it's called Peaceful Place. Um, so if I show you the um, the little bits first, so you've got some sequins here. So they're white ones. They're like see-through vellum -y ones and silver ones, really sparkly silver ones in a couple of sizes. So lots there. Perfect take-your-pick um, tool application. So a whole load of those. So they are subtle shimmer sequins. Oh, are the gold holly leaves metal? No, they're not. They're like material, but, but, but hard material, like starched material. <laughs> um, you've got a white organdy ribbon with some, again, let's see if you can, oh, I think you can just about get that, can't you? Can you? With little bits of glitter in there. Then you've got a timber embossing folder there which is all good but it's all about the paper for me <laughs> so i'm hoping you can see this so first of all how gorgeous is that sheet i almost don't want to do much else to it but can you see that that is foiled it's yum i love it <laughs> so 
you've got those. You've got four quarters that can be cut and you can make some six by six cards or eight by eight cards and you've already got half the background. We don't need much more, do you? A bit of ribbon and a sentiment there and your job done. Um, so I love that. Um, that one as well. So that is foiled as well. I'm hoping you can see that. Mm, gorgeous. Love it. And you've got more foil. So it's all foiled one side. So there's the timber. That's where the timber comes in to affect that um, embossing folder matches that paper. And I like this one as well. Just splodges. But again, you can see the that on there. And then another one of these beautiful designs where you can literally cut it in half, cut it in sixes or in fours for a six by six card. Um, and you've got those foiled trees there love them love them but but then you've got the other sides as well so that's all the foiled side but you've got a gray pattern so it's these kind of striped pattern on one side some cabins on another which is the stamp set that goes with it some trees some sidewoods trees some gingham and again these kind of i can't what are like watercolory trees things <laughs> <laughs> and a diamond pattern so very nice i like that a lot i like that a lot um but also with that we have um, it's actually not part of the suite but it's like the page before or something three different silver um foils so you can see the difference there this one's quite a purpley um matte finish this has got a pattern in it and is quite shiny and this has got a kind of a brushed um look to it so all very different you get one sheet of each in there. Um, and I'm not going to open this, but I just want to show, show you. Um, it's um, white felt. So it's white felt in a 12 by 12 size. I mean, I could get it out, but honestly, that's what it is. White felt <laughs> um, velvet sheets. So I liked that um, thing. I, I wasn't overly, um, you know, the, the uh, peaceful cabin, it's called. It's a nice set. Just wasn't first on my list. But all the papers and the bits that go with it were. Got to love a bit of grey and sparkle. Right, let's move on to all oh, my favourites. Oh, I'm so in love with this. I love it. And I don't know why, because it's pink. And I don't really do pink. I'm not a pinky girl. <laughs> um, but I love, 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 love this set. So this is called Whimsical Trees. Love it. What's not to love? <laughs> That's what I'm going to leave it with. But look at these dies. Love them. You'd never guess, would you? Look, eight baubles, five stars. Love them. Love, love, love. Um, you've got the pink. It's Blushing Bride, I think it is, I want to say. Uh, grow Grain Ribbon with a frilly edge. And it is Blushing Bride. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so can you see that? There you go. He's going in, he's going out, he's going in, he's going out. There we go. There we go. So that's ribbon, grow grain ribbon. Then these um they're kind of holographic y um snowflakes. Now I actually haven't opened this yet. I'm wondering if it's holographic one side and white on the other. Yeah, by the looks of it. Oh, it's got a sheet of paper in between each one because they're so delicate. So you've got this pearlescent that you can see on that but turn it over it is normal white so that will color with anything that we've got if you've got sort of a, one of our sponge rollers or something like that the blending brushes if you're really careful and um, you'll be able to color those on that side any color um because this side will pick up the color oh, i love those i love them i'm getting a little bit too in love with this aren't i <laughs> right oh i'm not gonna put that back now hold on there we go. And then look at these papers. Again, another foiled set. Um, so, look. I just love that. I might just frame that. <laughs> but, but then you've got that again, which is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't know what. I need to stop doing that. Look at that. It's just lush. It could be from Wales and it could be just lush there love this one uses background paper or cut out individually oh 
what's not to love? And then a, look, a kind of holographic -y rainbow foil on that. <sighs> Just makes me happy. <laughs> And then we've got the different sides as well. So these aren't foiled. And um, you've got a whole variety here. So blue trees, green sort of polka dot, some pink and green holly leaves, um, this kind of diamondy distressed look, a nice pink distressed background, and a stripe. I mean, none of that, those particularly. I mean, maybe, again, the trees and the holly, but you've got a lot of um, ones that you can use throughout the year then. But that is my favourite, and that is called um, <laughs> Whimsy and something. Hold on. Still learning. Whimsy and Wonder. Love it. Love it. Right, let's get the next one. Okay. So on to... So if you're on my mailing list, you will have seen, oh, I've got Ernie hairs over it already. Talk of the devil. Hi, Ernie. Um, uh, so that I shared a, um, fo <laughs> hi, bye. Um, I shared four samples with the Quiet Meadow. So, um, in fact, let's find that in here. So, the current annual catalogue, Quiet Meadow, page 110. So, this set here, um, I love the dyes. The dyes are just beautiful. You can't see them. Hold on. Can you see them there? Just about. There we go. So beautiful, beautiful dies and a lovely stamp set. But they, this kind of coordinates with that as well. So this is called, I want to say Meadow Harvest. Harvest Meadow. <laughs> meadow Harvest, Harvest Meadow. Um, and again, you've got bits and bobs here. So let's start with the stamp set. So some beautiful um, floral images and nice font and text. Nice good luck. Um, just nice, 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 nice. Um, but beautiful dies again. So you've got a couple that um, will cut out the images on the set. A couple of labels, a kind of branch, which is always good. And then look, these that look fabulous in like silhouettes and things. That was upside down. But love those. So that is called Harvest Dies. You've got a time-worn time type 3D embossing folder. So 3D will mean it will give it some dimension. But so you'll have some writing across here um, and then you'll have some worn patches as well. So you'll see one of the papers has the same effect on it as well. Then you've got these brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. So they are quite 3D. They're quite um, bulky, um, but nice. They're not flat. So um, nice, nice, nice. I think that also goes with the brushed metallics that are the papers that are carrying forward from last year. Um, so they all coordinate with those. Um, you've got this gorgeous ribbon here as well. They're calling it a diamond something, diamond weave ribbon. So um, let's bring it up again so you can perhaps see. There you go. Like that. Um, we've got some cork paper. So this is 12 by 12 paper, and it is actually, it's not adhesive backed. Um, it is just super thin cork. So really good to bring some texture to, um, to your projects. Um, and then we've got the pattern papers for this as well. So let's go through these. So one, two, there's the um, time-worn type. That's what I was talking about, similar effect. So that's how the embossing folder will coordinate with that. Um, some nice harvesty neutrals, nice blue, and then a lovely, you can't hardly see, there we go, um, tree pattern on there. And then turn them over and we all go Moroccan, <laughs> don't you think? Really random, I thought. Random, completely different patterns and colours. You go from quite muted, neutral niceness to rah. Nice, though. Like them a lot. But yes, was a little bit like, oh, OK. <laughs> I wouldn't have put you two together. So perhaps you don't like that lot. It's all a bit too neutral, a bit mm. But you might love that lot. I have to say, I think I prefer this side, but love them. 
love them love them so that is your what did i say meadow harvest harvest meadow sweet i've got one more bits of a sweet and then i've got a few random bits and then we're done job done so again I, I have to say i'm always a give me the ribbon and the embellishments and the things that aren't some sets and dies and punches to start with that's what i always kind of focus on i seem to get all the ribbons and things i like the the little bits on top so again this sweet is called i want to say gingerbread something gingerbread and peppermint but i don't have either stamp set oh no no this, hang on hang on so there's one bundle a separate die set and some other bits i'll tell you what i haven't got here so in the suite is some masks some decorative masks um some acrylic shapes and a stamp set and bundle but the rest of this is all kind of part of well in fact that's a little bit of a lie because i'll do those in a minute um it's all part of the gingerbread so you'll get a feel for it when you see the pattern papers and things so in fact let's do the pattern papers first because that will give you an idea let me move all of that actually to one side so very gingerbread and peppermint so all these can be used as they are or they can obviously be cut out as well. So lots of designs here as well. So four of each design, and I'll flick through them, some nice polka dots and things, a whole mixture, easily to cut out or easy to cut out. But that's but yeah, that's your kind of icing on top of cookies, gingerbread cookies. No, you could cut those out. More icing, more shapes that are cuttable. Is that a word? Um, and I want to say, don't quote me, but I'm pr I'm pretty right, I think, that um, you'll have dies that will cut these out. But, but to be fair, they're not that hard to cut out by hand either. So you could do that as well. Some worry swirlies. And again, red and green papers denote Christmas, but don't have to. They're not Christmassy papers all the way around. And then you've got the other side as well, which are, again all different patterns that don't have to be Christmas, but can be. There we go. So lots of different patterns. This is just one pack here, but this is six by six paper that's already there. And the last one. So are you getting a feel for that? So if you get a feel, think think that what the kind of stamps and dies would coordinate with that set and you've got what they are. <laughs> How are we doing? How is everyone? I'm getting very warm here, by the way. Um, right, let's put that there. There's some red ruffled ribbon. Can't go wrong with a bit of ruffle at Christmas. Ruffle. Let's see. There we go. That's it. Um, then um, a die set, because again, I got this as part of my incentive trip. So this is, um, and let's, in fact, let's get those back down again. So this is the die set that makes, oh, hang on, do, 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 do. these cute little boxes. So, three different ways. So these flowers here create these little kind of three, it's slightly 3D effect, but look how cute they are. So then I'll set it in the palm of my hand to give you an idea of size. Um, and you can, you know, there's a decorative edge, but they don't, you don't pop open the sides. You, it's a lifty thing. You to pop out whatever's in there. Um, one with a belly band. But again, just slide off and get out whatever's you've got there. So great for little favours. Um, don't that's, again doesn't have to be for Christmas, does it? If you do Valentine's at a kind of primary school or something like that, and then you've also got some holes where you can thread ribbon through and tie it like that as well. So different. Um, that's what those bits are there. Um, and you've obviously got a couple of labels there that go on as well. A tag shape that gets used. I mean, super cute, great as well. If you make stuff for um, craft fairs and sell things for craft fairs they would go down a storm little gifts for um christmas day or something like that on the table instead of crackers perhaps um we have instead of proper like paper crackers we've done the they normally do a cracker scratch off card like lotto card um lottery card whatever um and so you could put one of those 
I fold it up and put a lottery card in there um, instead of crackers as well. Um, so, yeah, so they're cute, 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 cute. Let's get rid of that over there and that over there. Um, we are doing six by six craft paper as well. So craft card, um, we've done it in 12 by 12 before, but six by six we haven't. And this all coordinates, as you'll see, with um, the other bits as well. And obviously with that pattern paper as well. What else do I have? I mean, let me show you this. So this isn't part of the suite, but I just, you know, it is. It is, but it isn't. It isn't officially, but it should be because it's in crafts. So look at these boxes. How cool are they? So they come like this, even with the tape already on. Now, that's the first. Um, and they make these, which I just think are great. So they are perfect size, putting some cards in. I'm sure one of our cards must fit in there. I'm going to try it now. Hold on. Ta-da! Perfect size for some gift cards. Uh, perfect size for chocolate bars. Perfect size for money. Lots of things. And so I made one up. So again, that's my hands to give you an idea of size. It's about hand size. But great. And they come in a pack of 10, I want to say. Yeah, 10 in a box. And they're not a ridiculous price either. I thought they were, they were very good. Nice sort of decoration around here or something dangling in the window. Uh, that would be lovely. Right, so back, so not part of the suite, but should be kind of thing. Um, so back to this. So these are, I do love a Memories and More set. So Memories and More, as the name suggests. So this is a pack of, and I want to say, 20. Now is that 20 envelopes or 20 cards? 20 cards, 20 envelopes, because there's more than 10 there. Um, so you get this pack. So that's that's it, like it. Um, and then you get these Memories and More cards, which I haven't opened yet because I don't want them falling everywhere. So the Memories and More cards are six by four cards, three by four cards, die cuts, stickers, bits and bobs and all sorts on there. So let's give it a go. Well, so I could take this card and I could put that in the center of it um, and cover it up if I wanted to with the big cards. I could cut this card in half and put half of it in there. Um, it's up to you what you do, but you'll also see, look, there's a cookie recipe, got a thing on the back of those, and there are, let's have a look, so look at those images, it will give you an idea of that stamp set, one, two, three, four, five, six, so there are six of those, six of these, like that pattern, circles with those, so Whilst what I'm saying use them for cards, you can do them for pocket scrapbooking as well. These are the size that are the most popular, like Project Life kind of um, style. I mean, look at this. You don't need to do much more. <laughs> How easy is that? Perhaps an embellishment or something on there, a bit of ribbon. You don't need anything else. Um, or you can, again, you can bring that in. So love those. It's the first time I've opened it. I'm like, I'm in love again. Oh, and then we have, so this is obviously cookies and gingerbread and things like that. So you've got some spatulas and some snowflakes and some oven gloves and some frilly edges. And you've got two of those. And then you've got some Merriest Christmas, Your Friendship Makes the Season Sweeter, more oven gloves. They're all die cuts. They literally just pop off and they are adhesive. So you've got those. So that is all the kind of six by four bits. But if we look at the three by four bits, that's perfect for going in your memory album. But look at that. One of those sentiments and your job done. You don't need much else. So I will be doing a class with this. It would be daft not to, wouldn't it? Um, so you've also got, oh, hang on. And I do love a bit of craft. So hol holiday happenings. Or again, you just might want the stripe. What else have we got? Your sugar and spice and everything nice. So you could have that with one of the um, spatulas and oven gloves there as well. What's the back of those? Nice pattern again. Made with love. So you could put that there. But I reckon... Let's 
There you go. I would even perhaps cut that out and stick that in the middle of there. Made with love. Make some cookies and do that. Oop. What have we got on the backs of those? Again, a nice stripe. It's Oh, it's, be it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. There or that design there. And finally, a nice like piped icing with a Christmas tree on the back. So all great if you do pocket scrapbooking, if you do like, a, uh, you know, the month of Christmas, 12, 12 days of Christmas, anything like that. Um, and then you've also got these. Now, I did wonder what these were to start with, but they're um, cooling racks. You know what you'd put your cookies on? Are they adhesive? I'm not sure they are. They might be, though. I don't want to peel it off. But you've got, look, three black and three silver. So how cool are they? So you put that there, and then you'd get some of your, your oven gloves, and that, just cute, 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 cute. And if you've got the stamp set as well, um, you would be able to stamp out some uh, cookies. But love it. Love those. So that is, I say, easy Christmas cards, just a lick and stick, not too much to those at all. So that is that set. Uh, no, is that it? That's it on the um, sweets that I've kind of got most bits of. I've got a few random bits to show you, and then that's it. So this is my random pile. So, <laughs> random number one, black and white gingham ribbon. It's kind of Halloween-y. I don't really do Halloween-y. I do need a bit of water, though. Hold on. Oh, that's better. But I do like a black and white ribbon, so it doesn't have to be a Halloween. Also got these star-crossed embossing folders. A folder. So that I thought this was two different folders. Read it properly, Natalie. Um, it's not. It's one folder with that pattern on. Bit random. But I had to get it because Stampin' Stars is my Stampin' Up team. So we have that. Um, I have this stamp set, which is one of my favourite. But actually, the best part of this is the dies. And, um, yeah, I put the wrong number in when I ordered it, so I just ordered the stamp set, not the bundle. Um, so I have since ordered the I'll order the dies, and they are on their way to me. In fact, I got them free um, because um, Stamping Up gave me a product credit um, for when you reach a certain title within Stamping Up, they give you a product credit each quarter based on your sales. So, in fact, I got it for free. Um, so that was nice when I when I got that. Um, so that that's on its way. So that's why it's random and on its own at the moment. Random um, embossing folders or something else I got as part of my incentive trip gifts. Um, so it's like sheet music. I don't know what somebody could put who, who would know music could probably play that and tell us what it is. Uh, I don't know what it is, though. Um, then we've got gorgeous leaves. So a nice kind of distress spotty. Lovely. Love, love, love that. And the timber again coming in. Just a lovely, lovely set with, again, so you've got some dies that cut out those stamp shapes, but they've also got the intricate dies as well. Um, and, again, a branch. So I love those. I love the ones we had that were similar-ish last year, but these are a lot more distressed, not quite so contemporary. Um, but nice, 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 nice. Um, it's a back, big, big old, look, big old background stamp. Again, that was something I got as part of my incentive trip gifts. Um, so big candy canes. Um, all over the background is a nice background stamp. Best to use with, um, obviously, the biggest acrylic block we do or the Stampin' Artist I would be using that with. Um, I also got this as an incentive trip gift. Um, Holly Jolly Wishes, again, nice stamp set. Merry Christmas to you. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Jingle all the way. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Some just good, nice Christmas sentiments. And then I got this 12 by 12 paper as well, which, again, was a bit random. I think these were... Um, when you go on an incentive trip, you go in a, like a room um, each day and you spin a wheel to win prizes. So I think these, a lot of these single things were prizes in the um, spin a wheel that we didn't spin. <laughs> but people have gone mad for this. Now, I have to say it's not quite my thing. But yes, there is a coordinating stamp set and die set and the whole suite around this but this is all i've got to show you at the moment so if you have a, a labrador a gold, golden retriever isn't it not a labrador golden retriever um i think it's you just right up your street um but lots of little animal cats and dogs 
in various poses. That cat looks really impressed. <laughs> And there's some big stockings, which can again be used as one or cut out individually. Some black and white cats and like little terrier dogs. Some of the lights. And then what would it got on the back? Again, it would be coordinating. Nice. Again, they just won't be Christmas orientated, but they just will coordinate. Nice stars there. And patterns. More patterns. I like that. I haven't looked at this one yet, actually. And a nice red stitch. That is all I've got for you. <laughs> it's enough to keep me quiet for a little while anyway. Let's move these around again. So, did you see anything there that you liked? Anything tickle your fancy? What is your favourite thing that I just showed you out of that lot? If you're still with me. Have a look. If you're watching on replay, give me a hashtag replay and still let me know. I'd still be interested. I want to get a feel for what people are going, oh, yes. Because I know sometimes, often, I don't go with the um, the obvious. So lots of people are going mad over the penguins. I was like, mm, I can wait for them. Pull your whims, of course. Well, I know I love it. I love it. But uh, so, so, yeah, I'm often off the beaten track and not with everybody else. Um and I'll take a little bit of time to catch up. So, <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what everyone else is feeling. Um, but Paul is agreeing with me by the looks of it. And if anyone else is there to give me an answer. But, well, that took longer than I was expecting. It's quarter to five. In three hours, 15 minutes, I've got to watch the football. <laughs> Are you watching the football tonight? What's going to happen? I have my son, some of my son's friends round. So um, that'll be interesting. I might start, I might just go up to my bedroom and shut the door, and wait for it all to be over. <laughs> um, yeah, it could be quite noisy. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to. So I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I've still managed to, able to come and meet you and see you on Wednesday. I'm sorry my Wednesdays have been up the start. It's my every intention to go back to normal. So I should be here no problem next Wednesday at midday. And I will be live crafting next time. But I thought I always like to show you what I've got because I think I know you can't see a catalogue yet. But I think sometimes when you see a catalogue, it's not the same. It's not quite the pattern papers are different. And it, you get a vibe for the, what the kind of sizes are of things and things like that. So um, it's always good to see them in the flesh. Now I've shown you, I can now put it all away, which is great. <laughs> um, and I will be playing with it all, it's all kind of over the coming sort of months and things. So um, I'm going to wish you well. I'm going to thank you for joining me. Um, and yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back next week um i hope you've it's given you a big long list yvonne if it has i'm sorry <laughs> or should i say sorry not sorry um we've got we've got a few months you know this is earlier than normal as i say this catalog wouldn't normally come out till september so the fact that we've, we're getting it a month early should have got it two months early um but it's giving us time we can we can scatter our spending out um so uh, we've got a few months to get some stuff but that's definitely stopped me up for a little while and i'll be keep you keep me busy um playing with that for a little while although the sun is trying to come out there um trying being the operative word because uh, we haven't had much of a summer yet have we but uh there we go right i'm gonna love and leave you thanks for joining me i will see you next week